Sobrang putla ko. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Andrea, and today I will be doing something a bit different. I will be trying some makeup with you guys. I've always wanted to do a full face of a makeup brand to see which products are worth recommending or not. Here's the first video for that, and I decided to try a full face of Sunny's Face Makeup. Based on what I read on their website, they seem to market themselves as a brand with luxury formulas but with drugstore or more accessible and affordable prices. Let's see, let's put that to the test and let's just jump right into it. I'm already foundation now, so I'm kind of We're gonna add some color back to my face with a product. So let's start with the brows first. They sell their brow products as both Life Brow and they sell it as a duo but you can purchase them individually. Then on the website, they have a market nala to as brows that complete you. With a pencil, you can build perfect brows that naturally frame your face. The pencil is easy to use and on the go. And the grooming gel is designed with a tree-shaped brush to coat your hair evenly. The gel picks up just the right amount of formula for the perfect fluff and shape. Waterproof, smudge-proof, and life-proof. I will start by using the Life Brow Brow Defining Skinny Pencil. They're not joke. Skinny is talaga. I'm not sure how well this matches my hair, but when I used this brow gel before, it seemed a bit too dark for my hair color since they only have two shades, ash brown and warm brown. I got the warm brown. Simulan ko siya by lining the bottom of my brow. And I'm now just adding hair-like strokes, like they said. <gasps> Nobody <Nabarisha>. shot. <laughs> <laughs> Malaki yung natanggal. So sayang. <laughs> Siguro hindi dapat mataas yung ginamit kong pencil level. In real life, parang mas madilim yung kulay ng brow pencil. Mas mukha siyang dark brown. On camera, it looks fine. Parang medyo matapang yung itsura niya for me. The pencils pretty okay. Pretty straightforward. It's just a skinny brow pencil. Let's top it off with a brow gel. I have tried this before. It wasn't the best brow gel I've ever used. It does have a pretty skinny brush with short bristles. So it makes the process a bit easier. Mas madaling ayusin yung mga brow hairs. Ni siya masyado mahirap i maneuver. And there are the brows with the brow gel. They don't do the job bad. I just don't know if I like them yet. Let's see. Let's see if they actually do their claim of being life proof and if they stay on all day. The next thing we are going to try are their latest release the air blushes or their soft focus sheer cheek tints. And they come in six buildable shades that you can use on your cheeks, eyes, lips, and nose anywhere you want extra color. Bumili ako ng tatlong shades. I got these online and they came in three separate plastic bags which I don't appreciate. I'm sure I can find a way to reuse this but it's so unnecessary. Ayan no, kitang kita naman na kasha sila sa isa. So, wala, sayang lang sa packaging. Here are the shades that I got. Peach, Biscuit, and Moon. Yung biscuit, ang feeling ko kakulay siya na skin ko. So maybe we can try it out as a sort of contour or bronzer. Tapos, I will be using peach for my blush. Very handy na may mirror to. So hindi ko na kailangan gumamit pa ng ibang mirror. Let's start with biscuit as a contour. Like I guessed. I don't really see it much on my skin. <laughs> Parang nagbe-blend in lang siya. Tapos, nawawala. not sure if I can see much of a difference. I think I look the same. <laughs> so, the biscuit is not a lot of Now, I will be using peach as a blush. Glides on pretty well. Very creamy yung formula. Hindi siya nagtatog sa skin. Ngayon ko lang na-observe na cream siya pag hinahawakan mo dito. Pero pag nilalagay mo na sa skin mo, it dries to a powder finish. I'll put some on the top of my nose. Here is what it looks like. I think I want to try moon on my eyes. So just a bit on the corner of my eye. Ayan. And then let's blend it out. They did say that these were pretty sheer. Napansin ko din. The color payoff is just 
okay. So I would have wanted these to be a bit more pigmented, but they're not marketing it as that, and I understand it's just a bit expensive to be a sheer product. Try nga din natin yung moon sa mukha ko kasi para ngayon, nag-blend in na rin yung peach sa mukha ko. Hindi naman siya skin tone shade ko, but it's not as boom as I want it to be. I want my blush to really pop and it ain't poppin' sis. It ain't poppin'. <laughs> Yan. I'm trying moon. I think this looks much better. I think it takes a lot of layering for these products to really show. Again, I think Moon did the trick. If you are a Morena, maybe go for Moon or their other shades. Alam ko meron lang parang berry shade, saka red shade. Let's see how well it lasts on my skin. Ito naman yung next nating to try, which is their Glow Boss, their cream to powder shimmer stick. Glow Boss is a multi-purpose shimmer stick with a unique cream to powder formula that suits all skin types and climates. It comes in three flattering colors that bring warmth to the skin. And I got the shade Hey Girl, which is their best seller and seemed to be the best match for my skin tone. I hope that this is nice because so far, walang masyadong super win sa lahat ng tinatry ko. So I'll start with my nose. Looking pretty natural right now. No chunky glitter. Creamy yung formula niya. Hindi siya mahirap i-glide sa balat. This highlighter, I think I like. It looks fairly natural. Mukha lang siyang fresh ka lang, dewy lang, ganun. Let's move on to the last product I will be trying, which is their Fluff Matte Lipsticks. So, sabi sa website nila, Fluff Matte is a weightless modern matte lipstick formulated with a silk structure technology to give you that second skin feel. Each shade is designed to be universally flattering and easy to apply with one quick swipe. These are what put them on the map. I have used these before and the pigmentation is very good. Very nice shades as well. Ganto pa nga yung packaging niya dati. Tapos ito yung holiday packaging nila na hanggang ngayon. Ito pa rin yung shell out nila. Feeling ko kasi nag restock sila. Tapos nag-uubos lang sila ng mga stocks ngayon. Most of these were gifted and I bought my first one. Which is the one I will be using today. And it's the shade Hot Sauce. Like they said, these lipsticks are a good one swipe lipstick. Isang swipe lang, very pigmented na. Tinan nyo. Ayan. Ang pangit ng demo. Mamaya na ako magsasalita kasi reds are really hard to work with. <laughs> So this is hot sauce on. This formula is very nice. It's just a bit dry for my taste because my lips are very dry. They are light enough na pag naganto ka, hindi siya dumidikit. Pero I can feel the lipstick just really sucking the life out of my lips. These aren't my go-to because they're not comfy. Q Beauty Guru Montage. be going out for a bit to run some errands with my mom and let's see how this wears throughout the day. It's currently 5.48 in the afternoon. I will be back with some check-ins and my final thoughts on the products. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Quick update lang bago umalis. Kumain muna ako ng dinner sa glit at kumain ako ng medyo oily na lumpiang Shanghai. Pero the lipstick stayed on. Kala ko kailang ko magretouch pag das kumain pero it still looks good so I didn't expect that. Check in. It's now eight o'clock and kahawig lang namin galang sa supermarket. Yung lipstick is still intact, brows are still intact, yung highlight para nagmix na siya with my face oils. <laughs> Tapos yung blush walang wala na siya. So yung blush talaga yung pinaka olats dito. Hindi ako masaya sa kanya. I will check in again with you guys later. I'll just watch some Netflix. Okay, I 
it is now exactly 12.03 at midnight. I got a bit carried away watching some B99, which I thoroughly enjoy right now. I love it. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. So brang bet. Anyway, I've had the Sunny Space products on my face for about six hours now and I have some things to say. I first put on the brows and they're still surprisingly intact. I am not a fan of the shade. I guess that isn't their team's fault. Maybe they could expand the shade range. The staying power is pretty good. I guess you can consider it an okay product for its price. The blush really let me down. Kung nakikita nyo, wala na siya, wala na siya talaga. I can see some remnants of it on my eyelids. But to pay 400 plus pesos for something that doesn't even last six hours or two hours since yung two hour check-in ko kanina wala na siya. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe they can improve on the staying power of it because it seems like a very promising product type. As in, I love cream blushes and I would buy this in a heartbeat. I would recommend it if it actually stayed but it didn't so the highlighter i initially liked i really liked how it went on it glided seamlessly and the glow looked so natural the glitters weren't chunky but again like the blush it didn't really stay i can't see it on my face anymore so again it is a product that could be better with a better formula in terms of staying power and the hero of the bunch is the fluff mats which is still on my lips without any retouching. Stays on really good. It's just not as moisturizing as I hope it would be, but I get it. It's a matte. They don't market it as a moisturizing lippy, so I guess I would just use it with lip balm or exfoliate my lips beforehand. Would I recommend their products? Um, the Life Brow Duo, I guess I could recommend if you have a hair color that works with the shades that they have. The air blush, I don't think I would be recommending it. Maybe if you have dry skin, it might adhere better. If you have combination or oily skin, I'm not sure if it would last that long. Feeling ko mas tatagal pa pag gumamit ka ng fluff matte as a blush. I guess I would recommend that more. The Glow Boss is fine. I really, really liked it initially. Maybe, again, if you have dry skin, it would work. It might stick better, but it didn't work for me. So I would also not be recommending it. They're pretty expensive, so I really can't sway my judgment. And the last product of the bunch, the hero, in my opinion, is the Fluff Matte Lipstick, which I do recommend. I give this my seal of approval. I like them. Overall, wala pang nag wow sa akin at wala akong makita pang may integrate ko into my everyday routine as a holy grail item. Maybe the fluff mattes are close, but they still aren't my favorite matte lipsticks out there. I think the brand has promise, and I did not say all my opinions to spite them. I said so in the eyes of a consumer. All I know is there is much room for improvement. I think they sealed the deal with their aesthetic, and I think they could do a lot more. And that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kung meron kayong gusto ng makitang brand na isunod ko sa full face reviews, do let me know down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to be part of the BB Girls and Boys Club, and don't forget to ring the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!